spoil the party here tonight in the Philippines. Ready? Ready? Go! Patel and round one. Three final rounds in the lightweight division. Two men willing to stand and throw leather. Snapping a jab early is Edson Marquez. Here in Manila, Mall of Asia Arena. The national hero, Folion. And that man, Marquez, from Brazil, trying to rain on the parade, Just, spoil the party judge, here tonight in the Philippines. Time. Ready? Ready? Jump. The bell and round one. Three five and rounds in the lightweight division. Two men willing to stand and throw leather. Snapping a jab early is Edson Marquez, 34 years of age from Brazil. Edward believes he's going to have the advantage and speed and footwork. And he doesn't think that Edson's going to be able to keep up with the pace that he wants to set, but Edson spent a lot of time out there in Brazil working with some high level Iranian wrestlers and some Cuban boxers to put together a great team for this camp. So both these guys are feeling it's just the top of their game and Edward is immediately starting to throw those leg kicks and tattoo the lower leg of Edson Marquez. Yeah, while he's throwing these leg kicks, he needs to get his head, head offline. Keep in mind that Edson Marquez has a six inch reach advantage with those arms so he can reach out and touch him off his legs. In our fighting meetings, fighter meetings this week with Folion, he told us he still has the, the power, he still has the fire, he still has the excitement every time entering the one circle. He's accomplished so much. He could easily hang it up, but still feels like he's got a ton left in the tank, even at 39 years of age. you got to keep in mind, Brent, that Edward Fulling has fought the very best of the lightweight division for a decade now. He's never had an easy fight. He's always in there against the best of the best. And uh, again, with Edson Marquez, who is just on a tear right now and looking real sharp. Good pressure coming from Marquez. He's trying to control that distance in that range. Yeah, Marquez using these little feints. He's freezing Edward right now. Edward's got to move. Can't, can't allow himself to just get stuck in these positions with his feet planted on the mat. Yeah, like, there's that right hand landed by Edson because Edward didn't get his head off line when he threw that leg kick. So he's got to put something in front of that leg kick, too. He doesn't want to throw it blind. But I like him going up top because if he's throwing head kicks and body kicks, it's going to be harder for Edson to really react the same way he was to that low kick. Yeah, I saw Edson right there lining up for the uppercut. And Edward's going to have to start using a bit more feints, disrupting the nervous system of Edson Marquez, get, getting him off, you know, freezing him or whatever, because Marquez is just waiting for that timing right now. Marquez is looking fast with his defense, too. You know, he's able to evade a lot of these kicks, but I think just... Bowling hasn't really quite settled into his range yet and found that distance where he can start to land some of those punishing leg kicks he likes. And here the crowd getting behind Bowling who unleashes a flurry right there. Yeah, but he ate a hook. He ate a lead hook while doing that. Comes in a straight left. And then back out. Willing to trade here with Marquez. Throw a couple and take one there. Two minutes to go round one. Again, the bout judged as a whole. Stepping the jam again, Marquez. What a mind scene to take. Spinning back kick attempt, full Leon. Showing everything in his arsenal here in round one. A couple of the left there. Leather to the face of full Leon. Yeah, this has been able to find some touches. Nice, short, crisp punches. Been able to score on uh, full Leon. He's got he did. some pop in that jab, no doubt about it, Marquez. One and two there, fully on. Throw that kind of overhand left. Nice. That, nice. Right home, that right hand is found a home right there now. Yeah, I like the way he threw it, too. He came forward with his right foot, stomped down, and as he came forward, changed stances there. He threw that right hand. Spinning back kick, Marquez. Minute to go. Listen to this crowd here in Manila. Snapping the head back, that silenced the crowd real quick. Flung got caught with that jab because he got he got planted on those feet. He's not moving. Oh, 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 oh. Fully 
seconds round one. McQueen likes that big left hook to straight right hand to the body. Hasn't quite landed. There's Edson working into that clinch which you were speaking about. Colleen hasn't landed that combination yet because, because of the height difference, because of the reach difference, he's got so much ground to cover in order to throw that 3-2. And of the, the height and reach advantage that Marquez has because he can he doesn't have to make those big lunging motions forward in order to, in order to touch his opponent. You know, for lying, and this is what I was talking about in the first round, he's got to use those micro foot movements to close the distance little by little systematically and then explode once he's already close enough to actually hit. Spinning back kick by Marquez. He's shown everything in his arsenal early on as we open up this second round. Lightweight MMA division here in one championship. A one-two from Fulion. And then the inside leg kick got him a little bit high. And time out here. An opportunity for Marquez to gather himself. I, I love Marquez here. He's not on camera, but he's apologizing to the crowd. You can see this here. He just steps in and comes right up the middle. You can actually hear it when, when it happened live, too. I immediately made that face like a I'll just say this for, for the crowd, if you've never been kicked in the groin, a lot of people think like, oh, you're wearing a protective cup, so you should be okay. And oftentimes when you get hit at the bottom of that cup, that cup actually lifts up and catches the hands as it's coming in, and there's, there's still a tremendous amount of pain. All right, back to action. Tremendous respect from both fighters. Here in round number two, feature power of the lead car. Main card comes your way exclusively on Prime Video, top of the hour, 10 p.m. Eastern, in the United States. There's that step forward right hand again thrown by Fulion. It looks like that inside leg kick is doing better work than his outside leg kick. But he's just throwing the kicks one at a time, right? There's nothing following up with it. He's just touching him. Scoring points, though. But he needs to start doing a little bit more. A little bit more to earn some respect. Nice little head kick there. Combination thrown by Marquez as Marquez will be able to turn around and press him up against the wall. I like the head positioning right there by Marquez, being able to break away without taking any kind of damage, taking taking full lines balance as they were disengaging. Back to the center of the one circle. Push kick from Marquez. 320 in round two. And the left of the body from Marquez. told us that he had a speed advantage, but it seems like Marquez is a little bit sharper with the footwork, nice and light on his feet, doing a good job of just staying just out of range of Fulion. Fulion that time went out over his skis on the one-two, and back to the center. Midpoint of the fight. Two and a half here in round two. Foyong from here in the Philippines. Marquez from Brazil. He gets him, Edward Flag gets himself overextended out of position. Easy shot for Marquez. Face plant for legend. It's in Marquez. Woo. Marquez, a serious power as advertised coming in. We knew they would stand and strike. It lived up to the billing. To make it official, Dom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Olivier Cost, has called a stop to this contest after two minutes and 53 seconds in the second round for your winner by way of technical knockout!